So guys, it's your boy Lil Ghosty back out again. Today we're gonna review a pair of shoes that is highly, highly rated on the hype be seen. Uh, it's a pair of Yeezys, but there's a catch. Uh, but we'll get to that when I explain the full story of how I got them and what they really are. And uh, but before we get into that, I wanted to explain why I wasn't uploading for the past three weeks. I'm very sorry that I didn't upload for the past three weeks, but for the most part I was ill. And for the other part, I was working on my brand and more details of my brand and all that will be in future vlogs, future videos. I'll talk to you guys more about it, but I just want to talk about it right now because it's still very, very early in the stages of actually making this brand. But yeah, second thing is I've had this problem with another YouTuber called Skillers FC. Me and him have had a little beef for the past while, and uh, I thought we'd settle it old school style with a, a few diss tracks. I'm gonna release my diss tracks soon, hopefully. I'm still working on it. Uh, still need to get everything, every single part of the song, the beat, the lyrics, everything. But guys, it's gonna be hype. I'm gonna release that soon. He's gonna re respond, hopefully. And we'll see who wins but and lastly I want you guys to like subscribe and hit that notification icon the bell icon to get notified when I upload next so without further ado let's get into the review Yo, here is the Feezy. Yes, it's a fake Yeezy. I'm not proud that I have this shoe, but uh, I got scammed. The way this happened was some guy hit me up on Shabok saying, oh yeah, do you want to trade Yeezys for your babe hoodie? Obviously I was like, hell yeah. He sent me pictures of real ones and uh, I mean, I believed him. Uh, I was like, YOLO, you know, try out, see if he sends me fake ones. He did. He took him like a week just to send these fake things. And uh, he was just lying this whole time, saying like, oh yeah, I'm on holiday. And then the same day he was like, oh, I'm at my grandma's funeral. I can't send it today. And like the next day he was like, oh yeah, I'm down by the beach and all these other lies. And I was like, I knew he was trying to scam me, but in the end, uh, I, I still believed in him. I, I, I tried, I, I, I tried to like, you know, believe that he was a good person. He wasn't, and uh, he sent me these really fake things. They're extremely bad, but they're not the worst you could get. But. Yeah, and then after he sent them, he sent me the muddy, wet, and in an Amazon box with like a bunch of sellotape wrapped around them. Like, come on, if you're gonna send me fake shoes, at least make them good fakes and actually package them in the real, real Yeezy box. But like, it's just pathetic, really. Like, what's the point? If I really wanted to, I could call the police. I ain't a snitch, and I don't get stitches, but I could call the police, get my item back, sort everything out, like report him with Spock, all that, get my items back, and all this. But I just, it, I don't know, I might, I might do it. Or I might give these away to you guys if you really want. Just tell me down in the comments below if you want these to be given away. The giveaway will be on my Instagram if you guys want this to be a giveaway. Uh, my Instagram will be down below as well. I'll put it there. And yeah, let's get into this. First things first, the, we'll start with the laces. The laces are pretty flimsy. They're not as sturdy as the real ones. And the tips are glossy. It's supposed to be more matte. The 
not really a huge like pattern. It's supposed to be a slightly different color, but the laces aren't too bad. I mean, obviously they're bad, but they're not too bad. Uh, this shoe I actually filled with paper to give it a bit of shape to make it look a bit more decent. And this shoe is the one that's not filled with paper. Uh, I'll be showing this shoe without paper uh, in like the second part and I'll cover bits to show you guys but and I'll stick with this shoe. Uh, second thing, the pattern's okay. Uh, there is the curve of the pattern here but there's not really a curve here anymore. It just curves slightly if you guys can see I can't read which side is it. Yeah, this side curves it as it should be but there's no curve here or here at all it's just straight uh, the other thing is the stitching isn't correct it's supposed to be a bit more boxy a bit more like you could just it needs to be more seeable it's like you can't really see the stitching and uh, they're also like the threads are just, just feel cheap, like really loose, like not well done at all. And there is the curve of the stitching because the stitching is supposed to go straight down, but in some sh some easies they curve a little bit. Not in fake ones, they don't at all. They're just completely bent in the fake ones, like in these. It just goes. Whoop. Um, the other thing is, is the actual back tab it's flat flat completely flat with the uh, back of the shoe uh, there's no sternness to it there's no uh, like any just it's just really cheaply done there's no the material is just one you can't really pull it but I'd have to stretch this out to actually try and like, it should be at least out here the back tab and it's like here normally the stitching on it is bad the dots are really bad they look tan but it's supposed to be dark because these are the moon rocks the stitching is not too bad at the back but yeah it's still bad there's just the heel cage this, the, where is it I mean it's not here it's just so flimsy the back uh, the sh overall shape it looks like it's good until here and further from here it's just a terrible fake like if it was just this part of the shoe it would be not too bad but just it's the whole look of the shoe is just not correct it just doesn't go in like sections it's supposed to be one flow of like i mean if i did put maybe paper there you could see it a bit more yeah maybe if i did that be better but the shape is just off as well the suede patch doesn't really feel like suede it just feels like felt really but well, it's nice and soft uh, I don't think it is suede. No, it's not suede it's just felt uh, the imprint on it is good though it's not too small it's not too big it's correct the imprint is actually really good I'm surprised by that I'm surprised that the imprint is good but uh, the suede patch is just off, the stitching is off. Uh, the stitching where the laces are here is fine. But as you can see the loop uh, like the lace holes are already like ripping. This is a worn shoe. He sent me worn ones, not even dead stock pair of fakes. <laughs> this guy, he he's a joke. But moving on to the midsole, the colour is off on the midsole. It's way too light. It's supposed to be more faded. Uh, it's more of a faded color. It's not faded, faded, but it's just. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Uh, the overall, like, bottom of the shoe is fine. Like, the pattern of the shoe is fine. Like, these ridges, it's fine. Uh, this is correct. The sign's correct. There's nothing wrong about that. So, is this one here. And now I'll show you guys. Uh, on this shoe uh, the boost is nice and soft but comparing it to a real ultra uh, ultra boost boost is it's not as springy like you can really tell the difference when squeezing these two 
this this one is way less responsive it this is straight response this is just like pushing then go slowly come back it's like no response i mean i put these on these aren't my size these are two size uh, two no one and a half size is too big for me these are size nine i'm a seven and a half and they're i wouldn't say they're not comfortable but they're not yeezy sandals comfortable and uh when actually squeezing it from the inside wait i'll just pull out the insole i'll show you guys the insole quick uh the insole is fine but this is just crumpled it's the insole doesn't fit into the shoe at all it's flimsy there's nothing to it you can just roll it up throw it away in the trash uh it's just not really good this is faded already the adas easy this is fine though it's nicely printed like stamped in to the insole it's fine nicely formed it, the whole look of the outsole is f uh, the insole is fine but this the numbers on it are faded you can't see there's wrinkles everywhere on it it's just there's no not this just Moving on to this bit here, uh, if you actually press on the inside of the shoe, you can see the boost coming out. That's not supposed to happen uh, on the easy. If you push this out, that's not supposed to happen. That's supposed to be like nice and just supported so it doesn't move around the boost. The boost doesn't move around. The, there's no really flexibility to it. No, the real easy don't really have flexibility to it either. But they're way more flexible than this. There's just a bunch of hard plastic put around some foo foo boost. But the inside of the shoe, I right, will show you guys now. It's fine. The stitching is fine. All this is well, that's correct. So there's nothing wrong about this. Uh, this inside here, it there's nothing to it. It's just fabric sewn on to another. Bit of fabric there's not really any like inside like foam inside or like whatever is put inside to make it nice and soft it's just fabric put together um, and the funniest thing is the tag is just the worst tag I've actually ever seen it says oh, if I can show you guys sample made in China like who are you fooling you're not fooling anyone the tag is just so off. It the QR code is way off. It's squashed. The ape like number thing is just not where it's supposed to be. It's just the tag is way off, as you can see. Also, the fabric is like see through. You can see through this. You can see through this material. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's just so thin. I mean, it has all the like real easy like feel to it but it's just way too thin it's not real easy material at all but yeah i think that's nearly all of it done mm. oh yeah on foot i'll do an on foot for you guys uh i'm actually in my football stuff now because i'm about to go training but I'll just put these on and you can you guys can see how it looks on the shoe on my foot. These aren't my size at all. And uh, yeah, that's how it looks. It's just really bad. Uh, I'll just terrible, terrible look. Uh, not worth trade. That's what I can say. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna wrap things up. Thank you guys for watching yet again this video. But before we end, I wanna say one more thing. I want you guys to tell me what video I should do. Tell me, send me DMs, t tell me in the comments, whatever. If I should do messing about in Toys R Us prank, potentially getting kicked out or social experiment prank gone wrong in the hood all this 
generic stuff <laughs> or like as I said going into Toys R Us because I had an idea we can go into Toys R Us and because you can just ride around on bikes there just ride around the whole store just doing a bunch of stupid stuff with my friends and yeah we can try and do that if you guys really want mm, mm, yeah I'm feeling that one but you guys tell me what you guys want to see if you want to see more abandoned exploration obviously I'll do that but I've done three videos already and one incomplete one uh, I've done this review tell me guys if you want this review oh yeah guys if we get 25 likes I will do a review of friends and family sample Yeezy 700 wave runners review and unboxing on this channel here probably only video of friends and family uh, what's it called sample Yeezy 700 review real review on YouTube but yeah uh, if we get 25 likes I'll do that and for anyone asking where I got where I get my stuff from like this Supreme Harajuku a BOGO I actually get it from my plug uh, my plug I cannot disclose his information he'll probably be watching this video anyway uh, shout out to you uh, but if you guys want any stuff like he hooked me up with this Harajuku BOGO for £90 the resale on it on Greyworld is around 600 and I've also got this Come the Garçon collaboration from 2012 BOGO for I got it for around 500 when the resale is 1.2k got this you can see on my Instagram a bit more uh, yeah if you guys want anything just tell me yeah like there's mad deals and they're legit like he legit check stuff I can legit check stuff as well I have a bunch of stuff that I can legit check for you guys. Just hit me up Instagram, DM me. I'll do it all for you. I'll get you stuff, all this, and I'll just tell you all the details. I'm Damn camera! I'm sorry, guys. Where was I? Oh yeah, if you guys want any details on this stuff, just DM me. Sorry, my camera keeps cutting out. Uh, I, I need to sort this out. I'll sort it out next after this video. But whatever I did, I'm sorry if this is bad. I, I'll try and edit as much as I can. But like I was saying, legit checks, plugs, uh, just hit me up on Instagram, DM me, I'll get you all the stuff you want, all the details I'll tell you. Uh, yeah, Instagram down below, Snapchat down below. Uh, no Twitter unfortunately and yeah I think that wraps up uh, I think that's it yeah I mean what else is there to talk about I mean yeah all right thank you guys for watching please subscribe it'd be greatly appreciated uh, please like hit the notification button Peace out, dudes. Hey, yo, 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 who, bitch, hey, sauce. Flit, sweat in the flesh. Hey, how was you feeling, bro? Uh, feeling like the four, I feel fantastic. Which one would you be, though? Uh, Mr. Fantastic, cause of money like elastic.